The birds cake me in vodka coke. I stink. So I've arrived on the beach and George is sitting there. I asked kind of what went on in the villa. No, no, I've been cracking on with Bailey in there. Have you? Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the truth. Anyway, really? Yeah, he slept with her last night. Such a fucking noise. Him and Bobby have said that Bailey has been sleeping with him. So obviously I've got a bit mad. So you fucked her last night? Yeah. It was only the fact that she's actually my mate from home. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't actually care. It's my mate! It's not up to Shut me! Up. Do you know what the thing is, yeah? I didn't expect it from Bailey either. That is a straight up goer. You're a slag. You're a slag. Katie. Um, and George, they both acted a bit like kids, you know. You're a freak. You started working oh, in my mum's shop. She 24 knows. years she old, trying to be friends with my mum. She knows. Sort yourself she... out. You could tell they were not going to get on. Me and Bobby went on a date. I actually said my worst kind of date out here would be salsa, but it turns out that we had actually such a laugh. He just about knows his left and rights. It was a good day. Bobby's a very good looking boy. He seems like quite a nice person. But at the end of the day, Bailey was with him seven years and I'm not about to jump in her grave. That just kicked clean off. Oh, fuck off. What happened? She's just slated you to the ground. She said like, you're a goer. No, no, yeah, she said you're a goer. Came back to the villa. It was like George and Bailey was waiting for her to walk in. Come here. Suck. Are you alright? Poor girl, she's walked in. She's nervous already. As she's fell over, everyone's lost their mind. Cracking up, I can see some tears. I oh, didn't know, I felt so sorry for her. That was a good entrance. She fell over. <laughs> Bobby and Katie came into the villa. I straight away lashed out at her because she come up to my face trying to say hello. Why am I going to say hello to her when she's absolutely slating me down at the beach? What else do I have heard? Get down there. Are you actually being serious? See yourself down there, I'm fucking well. Is she joking? Why is there a problem between me and you? Are you joking? Well, don't come in here all guns blazing. You've come in here all guns blazing. I, will you sack me up? At the end of the day, I did call Bailey a slag. I did call her a goer because at the time I meant everything I said, otherwise I wouldn't have said it. Sometimes I don't think before I speak. Some things can come across a bit disrespectful, but at the end of the day, we're gonna, I'll have a one-to-one -one chat with her and see how that goes. Look how are you? So jealous, it's unbelievable. I've just sat back, to be honest. I'm fucking enjoying it. This is not about me and you. Of course it is. I don't care about you. Do you care? It's not about you no more. We're at the beach party. We're talking about Josiah and Angelica. And I've seen Katie with her hand like this behind me head. So I've told her exactly what I thought. I said, listen, fuck off over there. You're doing my nothing. She's then piped up. Go and I'll throw a drink in your face. All I've heard is you since you got here. Be quiet. Listen, I swear to God, this drink will go straight over your face. Go on, do it. The birds cake me in vodka coke. I fucking stink. Like, I don't like you. You're not my cup of tea. George obviously has wiped me up since I got in here. He's mugged it so much. He's just the most big headed bastard I've ever met in my life. And at the end of the day, he deserved that drink in his face. And I'm quite satisfied that I've done it. 